Hello and welcome back. Last time we made some. Huh? This time we want to have the mean value, the average value, average copy cost of all students in our example here. Huh? So we have a attribute, a column, we want to have the average value of this column. Huh? Well, there is like some a command for this. Huh? Sum was sum and the average is called AVG, yeah, average. Let's have a look what it means on our database. Yeah. So I'm using exactly the same command as last time, yeah. but instead of sum, I write AVG because this is the average. Jack, I get a value, 18.6. Let's see, last time I checked with the sum, so I will check here also, just to be sure, just to be sure, I will check. Uh, here is what we calculated in last video, 111.6 was the sum. How many students we have? Let's scroll up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Divide this by 7. 15.94. Fifteen euro, sixteen euros, and what is the result here? Eighteen euros. Hmm. There must be something wrong. I mean, the sum is the average is just the sum divided by the count. Well, let's have a look at the count. Let's have a look at the count. Average, now I want to have the count. Six. Six. I had used seven, right? I used seven. Uh, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five. Uh -huh. There are seven. But there is a null value on side. Of course. Mm -hmm. There is a null value. And it's just, it's not counting at all. So the average value will be calculated a little bit different than we expect. Yeah. But in sum this was zero and now it's not counting in the in the count, it's not valid in the count. How can I get rid of this or I want to have this correct, yeah? I want to have the average value. And if nobody if somebody has not spent anything, it should be taken into account correct. Well, there is something. Yeah? So we have a look at the stu student copy cost. Mm -hmm. This is the student copy cost. There is one null value inside. Okay? There is one possibility we can we can use. It's the coalesc function. Coalesc. Koalesk. Yeah. Koalesk means in, in German Vereinigen. Yeah. Vereinigen, Verbinden. Yeah. Like a coalition. Koalesk. Koalesk. Student copy cost. Hmm. We want to coalesk student copy cost with another column. Yeah. And in our case, the other column is zero. What does it mean? What does this coalesce make? Coalesce is returning the first argument in the list. I can add more, boom, boom, more and more attributes and, and I could write student, phone and whatever. Yeah? The first element, which is not now, will be returned. So if I write it like that, yeah? If student copy cost is not null, it will return student copy cost. Yeah? If student copy cost is null, it will return the next item in the list, which is not null, and this is just a constant null, null, yeah? zero. Enter. There is the difference, you see? There is the difference. Suddenly, it's not null anymore, it's zero. Okay? So, 
we can use this coalesce in our average. Yeah, we use this average here, and now we are using coalesce as well. See, so we are now not averaging just the student copy cost, we are averaging the coalesce. And of course, student copy cost and zero. Book 15.94. What we've got here, 15.94. Perfect. This is working. Okay. This is because we are substituting every null value with zero here. Okay. Yeah. So, in the calculation of the average, we really have to take care about the average values. Okay. Sum, null or nothing, was not really, was not really influencing. Yeah? Because if I add zero or if I add nothing, it's the same. But in the average, there is a difference. Yeah? Because in the, not in the sum, but in the count. I can even use count. And then we get seven. Okay. There is the difference. Yeah. Last time sum, this time average, next time minimum maxima. Okay. Yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.